A Texas woman was killed by her boyfriend, apparently after getting an abortion out of state that he didn't want her to get. So she returned from the trip, I believe, to Colorado. He confronted her and then shot her. Great. And maybe I mean, maybe that would have yeah, just devastating. It's yeah. the worst story. <laughs> um maybe it would have happened no matter what. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe if she hadn't had to take a trip out of state, maybe he would have never found out about it. Mm-hmm. I yeah. have no idea. This is just speculation. It's the grossest speculation. Um, but we have a country with people like this. And we have politicians who are definitely more on their side than on ours. Yeah, I mean, that is why, as you say, uh, John, it, it just is so important that we preserve access to birth control methods, which include the morning after pill and the abortion pill that thankfully is still uh, at least temporarily legal because the Supreme because of the Supreme Court's shadow docket after that insane Kasmaric ruling. But um, when right wingers and theocrats on their side go after abortion access, it is because they're not they're not going after condoms, right? They're not yeah. going after the method of birth control that the man has control over because it's just the man's choice whether he's going to impregnate uh, the per, uh, person who can get pregnant, the woman, etc. That's that's his godly choice, and she has to be the vessel for that child, and that is what what God would have wanted. I mean, that's really what they think like. They're first going to come after abortion, then they'll come after the morning after pill, then they'll come after birth control, they'll come after IUDs. That's already being discussed right now. Yeah. They'll come after every method that the woman IVF, has agency yeah. over, and it, the the. It's just gonna happen more often that you have this kind of violence because they're emboldened by state violence and personal violence comes down from that. And and what we're seeing throughout the country is state violence against people who can get pregnant and people who need abortions. So, um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, like in so many other cases, uh, if you want to believe that he was definitely gonna kill her no matter what. You believe that he was going to beat her to death with his bare hands right there. Look, I'm not saying you don't have any evidence to believe that. Men do that all the time in America. But it sure is easier with like snap judgment to pull out a gun and shoot someone. Like I say all the time, they say guns make us safer. I say the gun is the only thing that made this a deadly incident. And by the way, a Grumpy Cat pointed this out. We apparently just happened um, or the update just happened. A 12 year old used an AR-15 to kill a Sonic employee in the Dallas area while the employee was arguing with someone else. And again, if 12 year old hadn't had the AR-15, person would be alive. Nobody thinks the 12 year old is gonna launch himself through the window and into the Sonic and then kill the person. Like Wolverine, the gun being there is what made it a dangerous situation. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.